is exceedingly rare that one archaeological find disrupts a well-established theory. Discovered a human fossil part of a jawbone that dates back more than 175,000 years. In recent decades, the scientific revolution has transformed our understanding of human ancestral history. However, a recent revelation from a cave sealed for millions of years has shocked those who unearthed it. <laughs> this discovery has uncovered unsettling truths about the human race, challenging our existing knowledge. Join us as we delve into the fascinating journey of scientists who opened a cave sealed for millions of years, unveiling chilling revelations in the process. The Mysterious Mislia Cave of Israel In Israel, Mislia Cave is one of the great archaeological sites that trace human evolution. On top of Mount Carmel, the cave is renowned for its rich history, which started hundreds of thousands of years ago. It is a very significant location in the story of our first ancestors. One of the enchanting features of Mislia Cave is the fact that it is ancient. Scientists found signs that humans lived in this cave about 250,000 to 200,000 years ago, during the Middle Paleolithic period. What makes Mislia Cave incredible is the discovery of a jawbone belonging to Homo sapiens, our species. Are you saying that this find may be a type of Homo sapiens that uh, one of a number that may have died out? This can be contrasted with the previous perception of when humans migrated from Africa. The jawbone, which could be 177,000 to 194,000 years old. Jawbone throughout the years, so the first accumulation dated to about 185,000 years old suggests that modern Homo sapiens probably dispersed from Africa much before the timeline estimated currently. The Mislia Cave is a wonder, as is the next cave, which is filled with mysteries. Ancient Lascaux Cave of Dordan. From about 18,000 until 10,000 BC, long before Stonehenge and the pyramids, back when mammoths and saber-toothed cats still roamed the earth, prehistoric people painted deep inside caves in this part of Europe. Lascaux Cave, situated in Dordan, also possessed exceptional cave paintings by our ancestors more than 17,000 years ago during the Upper Paleolithic period. These paintings are mainly of animals, such as horses, bulls, and fawns. Using natural pigments like iron oxide and charcoal, the artists painted live on the cave walls, showing amazing accuracy and sophistication in the images of their fierce animals. Further. Lascaux Cave offers insights into our forebears' social and cultural practices, as finger flutings and markings indicate that it served as both an art studio and a venue for rituals and get-togethers, displaying early human social development. Although human presence causes environmental damage, the cave was closed to the public in 1963 so that its ecological balance could be preserved. However, Lascaux II, a nearby replica of the cave, enables visitors to appreciate the ancient artwork, but also protects the original cave. And what about the cave that has been there for 40,000 years? Ever wondered how we know so much about ancient men? Here's how we know. The Fumane Cave of Italy. Fumane Cave, located in Italy, dates back to the Paleolithic age, nearly 40,000 years ago. It is a testament to the endurance and fortitude of our early ancestors. Stone tools like hand axes and blades make it apparent that the first settlers were resourceful and skilled. Using local materials, such tools are evident in their adaptability to their immediate environment. The cave's walls, decorated with the art of the distant past, hold a mirror to the ancient human creative ability. Symbolic animals, impressions of hands, and geometrical forms suggest an intimate connection between our ancestors and the world around them. Furthermore, the relics of daily activities are preserved in the cave, with fire pits and hearths scattered on the ground, indicating the centrality of fire in making the people warm, protecting them, and helping them to cook. The discovery of animal bones and shells provided evidence of their diet and hints about the resource availability in the area. 
Archaeologists have dug up the remains of burial procedures from inside Fumain Cave. The fact that human remains were inserted shows a kind of ritual activity or a belief in the afterlife, which is one of the many complex aspects of early humans' spirituality. These old caves are thrilling, and so is the next one. The Pinnacle Point Caves of South Africa Nestled along the coast of South Africa, Pinnacle Point Caves are treasure troves of ancient secrets that give us a wonderful view into the development of the human race. These caves, which date approximately 164,000 years ago, constitute major evidence of early human activities. Among these uniquely found features is a set that includes the remains of shellfish and the remnants of ancient meals. Archaeologists chanced upon mussel shells, and thus, it was clear our early human ancestors at Pinnacles Point were hunters and gatherers. They cooked and fed on seafood, and hence, they added it to their diet. Furthermore, these stones were found with tools that suggest a higher level of thinking by these ancient people. This type of tool probably had many applications to the everyday lives of the Pleistocene communities. Some tasks were hunting and collecting, others were producing and processing materials. The caves record socialization as well. Scientists are discovering evidence of communal activities which implies that Pinnacle Point was a venue for community events. Additionally, the site contains detailed descriptions of the use of fire. The evidence of controlled fire demonstrates the significance of this period when human ancestors mastered fire for cooking and against predators. At least this one is off the riverside. Find out in the next review where nature's artistry is hidden. The artistic Magura Cave in Bulgaria. Magura Cave is situated in the west of northern Bulgaria. It is a unique limestone cave that has been shaped by nature through the ages, preserving invaluable relics from the lives of those who lived in prehistoric times within its depths. Magura Cave presents a spectacular repertoire of prehistoric rock paintings, a rare phenomenon in Bulgaria. The cave dates back to the Upper Paleolithic, approximately 10,000-8,000 years ago, its walls are decorated with amazing paintings depicting hunting, dancing, and ceremonial practices. Archaeologists found a clutter of tools, pottery, and hearths in Magura Cave. Stone tools fashioned out of readily available materials, including flint and bone, indicate the inventiveness and skill of the early people who lived in those caves. The archaeological wealth of the cave is also reflected in the faunal remains, which hint at the ancient inhabitants' eating habits. The bones of various animals, such as deer, wild goats, and bears, tell the tale of prehistoric communities' ingenuity and adaptability by using the different flora and fauna in the region. Uncover the timeless tales of ancient caves that came before. Join us on a voyage to Spain. The Magnificent Altamira Cave. Altamira Cave, situated in Spain, is a magnificent archaeological site offering valuable information about people living in prehistoric times. This art site dates back to the Upper Paleolithic period, considered 36,000 years ago. Here, there are paintings of animals like bison, horses, and deer, and they are still well preserved. The painting describes the realistic craftsmanship used in the preparation using natural materials like red and black pigment from minerals and charcoal. The artists craftily incorporated the cave's natural curves to deliver the impression of three-dimensional depth, letting the animals express themselves. One day, in 1879, while hunting with his daughter Maria, a local hunter named Marcelino Sanz de Sautuola stumbled onto the Altamira cave, which almost immediately caused a stir in scientific circles. At first, the authenticity of the cave art was contested, but eventually it was accepted, placing the Altamira cave on the international stage of the Paleolith. The paintings disclose details of the daily life and cultural traditions of ancient individuals whose survival created the hunter's pyramid and beliefs about the world of nature, possibly related to the rituals. The complexity of the piece disassembles preconceived notions about the intellectual competencies of ancient people and illustrates their artistic skills and symbolic thinking. 
Ever wondered what ancient art looked like? Stay tuned for the next segment. The Chauvet Cave. The Chauvet Cave in the Ardèche region of France is an archaeological masterpiece that takes visitors back to the prehistoric era. Found in 1994, it is home to some of the oldest and most beautiful examples of Upper Paleolithic cave art, estimated to be about 36,000 years old. The cave is famous for its surviving works of art, which depict animals mainly, including mammoths, rhinoceroses, horses, and lions. The painters creatively used the existing cave formations to add depth and motion to their compositions, producing a stunning interplay of geometric shapes and movements. Apart from paintings, Chauvet's art includes engraving and footprints where different techniques, including finger fluting, are used to create delicate and colorful depictions. The presence of handprints suggests a personal connection between the artists and what they created. Unlike many other cave art sites, the natural beauty of Chauvet's artwork has been preserved well from human interference, thereby keeping its original magnificence. Due to its exceptional cultural importance, Chauvet Cave received the status of a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2014. The next cave is also valued for its importance in archaeological research, the Taban Cave in Israel. The Taboon Cave, located on the lower slopes of Mount Carmel in Israel, has played a major role in the research on early human habitation in the region. The cave is as old as the Lower and Middle Paleolithic periods and has been a great source of knowledge about ancient human lives and behaviors. Among Taboon Cave's most important features are the traces of lengthy human habitation in different periods of history. Archaeological diggings have unearthed deposits of sediment signifying various stages in human history going back as far as 500,000 years. The cave has revealed a wealth of stone tools, testifying to the technological progress of the ancient human population. These tools include hand axes, scrapers, and blades, which help shed light on early humans' daily movements and highlight their adaptive strategies. Taboon Cave has become known for discovering hominin remains, such as Neanderthal fossils and anatomically modern human remains. One outcome of these findings is the recognition of the great significance of the region in the history of human evolution and migration. Furthermore, the simultaneous presence of different hominid species in the cave prompts speculation about the possible contacts and relationships between Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens. Hearths and signs of controlled fire use have been found at Taboon Cave. The invention of fire, which could be used and controlled by humans, was of the utmost importance in human prehistory, as it was a source of warmth, protection, and cooking. What do we know about how the early men lived? The next cave has everything you need to know about how they lived. Evidence of the early men's way of life. Guff's Cave in the United Kingdom nestles within the limestone cliffs of Cheddar Gorge and is a fascinating archaeological site where one can enter the life of the primitive man who lived here over 10,000 years ago. This cavern illuminated the Paleolithic and Mesolithic eras and uncovered our ancestors' cognitive abilities and adaptations. One of the most outstanding elements of Guff's Cave is the discovery of Britain's oldest complete human skull, known as the Cheddar Man. This amazing discovery was estimated to have been made about 9,000 years ago. The Cheddar Man's genetic analysis revealed a bond with the current population, reflecting our ancestors' timeless influence. Guff's cave is abundant with tools and craftsmanship. The Paleolithic population created stone tools using flint and bone, demonstrating their resourcefulness. These tools were used for diverse activities, such as hunting and handicrafts. The inside of the cave is decorated with stunning formations, which are the beautiful backgrounds of those early inhabitants' creative works. Archaeologists found bone fragments engraved and adorned to represent the basic types of art and symbols. Guff's cave also contains information on ancient eating customs. The excavations revealed various animal residues, including mammoth, reindeer, and horse, which indicate different and rich diets. 
Greece too is not exempt from the list. The next cave is where history and nature merge, the historic caves of Agia. The caves of Agia Paraskevi in Greece eloquently narrates the complexity of human history, taking us on a fascinating voyage into the ancient past. Located next to the village of Almirida on the island of Crete, these caves have recently emerged as an archaeological reserve, revealing many secrets about the people who once walked among them. One of the most fascinating things about the caves of Agia Paraskevi is their connection with the Neolithic period, which dates back to approximately 600,000 to 300,000 BCE. Archaeological excavations inside the caves have brought to the fore a colorful array of artifacts, such as pottery, tools, and even human skeletons, which have added to our understanding of the daily activities of Neolithic people. Those shelters were home to talented craftsmen who produced stone and bone implements and pots decorated with beautiful patterns. The cave's proximity to the sea signifies that the prehistoric inhabitants knew their environment very well. These marine resources might have been the most important for the existence of these communities, which had proven themselves resource efficient. Furthermore, the caves of Agia Paraskevi have provided evidence of funerary practices, thus providing insights into the beliefs about the afterworld. I wonder if there is another heritage site that's as exciting as the caves of Agia. Yes, there are. The caves of Nahal Me'arat. Located in northern Israel, the Nahal Me'arat caves are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and have yielded priceless archaeological artifacts that substantially contribute to the study of human evolution. Occupied by various hominin species over hundreds of thousands of years, Nahal Me'arat is divided into four main caves, Tabun, Jamal, El Wad, and Skul. These caves have produced evidence of continuous human settlement from the Lower Paleolithic to the Upper Paleolithic. Another unique aspect of Nahal Me'arat is the wide variety of tools and artifacts discovered there. Stone tools, axes, and blades became a symbol of the technological progress of these early men. Taboon Cave, which is one of the most exhaustively explored caves, has been an exceptional source of images and facts about the Neanderthals and the early humans, Homo sapiens. The unveiling of the Homo sapiens fossils, which originated 120,000 years earlier than previously understood, has a further impact on the way the coexistence of different hominid species in the region was perceived. It poses questions about the chances of interaction between these species. Moreover, Fireplaces and common areas in caves indicate social aspects of people's lives in those far-gone times. Fire and hearth seem to be common in these parts. Here's another one that will surprise you even more. The Old Shanidar Cave. The Shanidar Cave dates back tens of thousands of years, and its findings shed light on the different aspects of human life during the Middle Paleolithic period. In the 1950s and 1960s, archaeologists discovered the skeletons of some individuals called the Shanidar Neanderthals. The most recognizable among them is Shanidar I, an older Neanderthal male. The burial site raises fascinating questions regarding Neanderthal behavior and compassion. The presence of pollen indicates that flowers were intentionally positioned with the dead, probably as part of a ritual or symbolic burial practice. The cave also produced abundant stone tools, which attest to its high tool-making ability. These artifacts, such as blades and points, speak of the ability of Neanderthals to adapt and survive in their environments successfully. The tools were probably used for different activities, such as hunting and food preparation. Also, fire and hearth traces have been discovered at Shanidar Cave. The Ice Age in the UK, yeah, you heard that right. See what the next review explores about the crags. The mind-blowing Creswell Crags. Located in the UK, Creswell Crags is an unusual archaeological site that offers a view into the Stone Age period. Sitting on the boundary of Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire, this limestone gorge is home to Ice Age rock shelters and a varied collection of artifacts dating back thousands of years. One of its enchanting aspects is the discovery of ancient cave art, 
which dates back to the Upper Paleolithic era, approximately 13,000 to 15,000 years ago. The area's engravings and drawings show animals such as horses, birds, and bison, making Creswell Crags the only place in the UK with Ice Age rock art. Besides the cave paintings, archaeological diggings at the Creswell Crags had yielded a host of artifacts, including tools, weapons, and personal possessions, illustrating the ingenuity and cunning of the residents when it came to dealing with the harsh Ice Age environment. Have you imagined a cave with the Orignation culture? Stay with us. The Vogelherd Cave. The Vogelherd Cave, part of a greater archaeological complex in the Swabian Jura, has contributed to early human culture and artistic expression. Vogelherd Cave stands out for being connected to the 40,000-year-old Orignation culture. The site has provided a unique collection of artifacts, including tools, bone implements, jewelry, etc., which provide a great deal of information on early humans' daily activities and technological skills. The most amazing thing in Vogelherd Cave is a group of mammoth ivory figurines. These splendid sculptures feature animals such as horses, mammoths, birds, and humanoid figurines. The most renowned of these is the Vogelherd Mammoth, a masterpiece of mammoth figurine carving that tells about the artistic ability of the Paleolithic people. Moreover, the artistic treasures of Vogelherd Cave have provided archaeological evidence of human settlement for many millennia. The stratigraphy of this site has permitted scientists to put together the varied uses of the archaeological site, which has shed light on the prehistoric cultures and communities' adaptation to environmental change. The abundance of animal bones reflects the importance of the faunal resources in the daily lives and diets of the cave's inhabitants. Have you ever stumbled on a cave in a place that you least expected? Well, that was what happened to these explorers, the Sun Dung Cave in Vietnam. In 2009, by a twist of fate, explorers discovered the Sun Dung Cave in Vietnam, a wondrous underground natural masterpiece that remained unknown and sealed for millions of years. This incredible discovery threw open an undiscovered world beneath the Earth's surface and created huge scientific interest. The cave, endowed with its massive chambers and a unique ecosystem, has become a log of precious records in the hands of researchers striving to unravel the secrets of our planet's geological history. When geologists dove into such an ancient underground space, the results revealed more than geological wonders. The cave's safe surroundings permit a view of an unscathed ecosystem, indicating humans probably did not inhabit that period. Let us know your opinion in the comments section below. Here is the cave, with an area frozen in time. The Tadrart Akakis. Tadrart Akakis, located in Libya, is an interesting area with a diverse history related to the development of Homo. This steep plateau has preserved various proofs of ancient people's activity for centuries. The rock art in this area is frozen in time, like any other story that our ancestors told. The amazing fact about Tadrart Akakis is the artifacts found in many of its caves, the paintings, drawings, symbols, and writings left behind by some of the earliest inhabitants as proof of their existence. These arts, which ancient people made, display their ordinary days, animals, and community life. The vibrant colors and wonderful depictions motivate viewers to explore the thought patterns of people from the ancient era who used to live in that region. The rock engravings from Tadrart Akakis also tell of a time dominated by hunting and gathering for sustenance. The animals drawn include giraffes, elephants, and cattle. This artwork contains a wealth of information about the lifestyle, religion, and mode of interaction among the prehistoric people. Some of the archaeological excavations in Tadrart Akakis have shown the existence of ancient settlements, which means that the people did not only create art, but also established communities in that abrasive territory. Here is another European cavern that will excite you. Enjoy the next number, which is about ancient history, the Cave of Villar. The Cave of Villar, dating back to the Upper Paleolithic era, circa 25,000 BC, 
is decorated with accurate and beautiful images of various animals, horses, mammoths, and bighorn sheep. The paintings show the talent and the social customs of those who once populated the area. The archaeological excavation of Villar's cave has also shown human occupancy during various periods. The site has evidence of tools, hearths, and bones, which gives us an idea of what went on in the daily lives of prehistoric tribes. The artifacts dug here show a tie between human groups and the natural environment that highlights a key aspect of hunting and gathering for nourishment. This cave was inhabited by both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals, and therefore it is a vitally important site to understand the interactions and potential coexistence of those two human species. The stratigraphy of the cave, depicting the layering of sediment, helps scientists trace back the timeline of human occupancy and the changes in the environment by thousands of years. And here is more proof of their existence in another cave, the fascinating Vindija Cave. Vindija Cave, located in the Vinda Hills in Croatia, is a unique site full of evidence of society's development. It has been a gold mine for archaeologists. One of the more compelling characteristics of Vindija Cave is its function as a refuge for early humans. Thanks to archaeological discoveries, we have proof of human habitation dating back to the Paleolithic period, about 32,000 years ago. This fact assigns Vindija Cave a special place among the areas our ancient relatives used as their homes and sanctuaries. Inside the cave, scientists found various tools and artifacts that gave them an idea about the resourcefulness of those who lived there. The stone tools, bone implements, and ashes convey the tale of innovation and adaptation. The artifacts illustrate that the inhabitants of Vindija were adept at fashioning tools for various purposes, including hunting for animals and processing food products. Another exciting discovery in the Vindija cave is the remains of the Neanderthals. Neanderthals were a separate hominid species that lived in the cave about 40,000 years ago. The discovery of Neanderthal bones, such as those of the infant and adult, has supplied scientists with valuable hints about their lifestyle, social organization, and probable relationships with other human species. The sediment layers of the cave function as a chronology record, wherein scientists can reconstruct a timeline of human activity. Through this timeline, we get to trace how early humans reacted to weather changes and developed their culture over the years. Amongst all the caves that have been listed, one stands out for how mysterious and scary it is. The mysterious Black Hole Cave. A significant discovery has been made in the center of the dark and deep depths beneath the Yucatan Peninsula, under the water. This discovery sheds light on the murky history of early America. The bones of a teenage girl named Nia were found inside the H. Negro, or Black Hole Cave Complex. By radiocarbon dating, Nia's age is more than 13,000 years, meaning she is one of the oldest human skeletons ever found in the Americas. At the bottom of H. Negro, the young girl's bones demonstrate that she is an important part of early human history in the Americas. Through Nia's discovery, a missing link in our understanding of the migration and residence of the early Americans is being mended. Fascinatingly, her skeletal remains break the traditional views about the peoples of the Americas. Scientists who have examined her physical features declare her a unique blend of rare physical traits among modern Native Americans. Although she has distinctions among modern Native Americans, DNA testing established the genetic relationship between her and present-day Native Americans. This finding favors the supposition that the first Americans might have traveled from Siberia and crossed the Bering Land Bridge, after which they could have multiplied into the varied groups that are seen today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification button. See you soon.